Our rain garden project is extraordinarily special on a couple of different levels. First and foremost, it helps address key sustainability issues for our National Historic Headquarters. Secondly, it benefits the community in a way that's measurable, tangible, and positions us for the future. When the time came that they wanted to do this project, this green infrastructure project here, they asked us if we'd be willing to, to work with Henry Street on this. Um, so we said, sure, why not? And mm -hmm. then we've been getting volunteer groups to do the heavy lifting here, because we had to empty out all these planters, and now we're filling it back up again. So it was sort of double work, but it's well worth it. We're going to collect water from that downspout there. Mm -hmm. Behind here will be water tanks that'll store some of the water. What the overflow will come through this pipe mm -hmm. and then fill up this bed as a secondary storage. It's not so much about saving water, it's about preventing the water from going into the combined sewers. When it rains, you're adding billions of gallons of mo more of water and the, those plants are just not designed to handle that. And when that extra water comes, they shut down totally and everything gets flushed into the river. So if a lot of sites that had significant um, roof areas like Henry Street did this kind of thing, we could minimize that impact. Our programs really work to provide people with ways to become self-sufficient and sustainable as individuals and as residents of the community. So our programs that address education, employment, nutrition, shelter, are all ways to empower the individual but help them become more self-sufficient and sustain their own lives well into the future, much like the Rain Garden does for our National Historic Headquarters.